after what was a long week of hard and rigorous movement of boxes, cleaning of a apartment, and driving a few hours back and forth, the move is almost finally over, but I do have a lot more time to put in more effort and actually record a little bit of voiceover over this gameplay. What is going on guys, Dark Scheme here, bringing you some Halo 3 gameplay for a change. I know I've been posting a lot of Halo 2 Anniversary gameplay, since that is what I had footage of in the back burner. But I am back, and some Halo 3 footage is in the plans, essentially, at the moment. Uh, but today, I would like to talk to you guys and catch you guys up on Halo 5 Guardians and all the information that came out uh, since E3, and even a little bit before E3, as we saw that. Game Informer did a month coverage of Halo 5 Guardians exclusively with 343. So to start it off, Halo 5 Guardians had some pretty interesting reveals, definitely something that I wish they would have explained a little bit more of, but uh, even after E3 we did get a little bit more information, a lot more things here and there from Twitter and of course on the Xbox News Daily show where they talked to the 343 dev team. Uh, but so the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Halo 5 Guardians campaign reveal. And this was something that was, uh, I guess, pretty game-breaking and a game-changer when you th really think about it. Uh, it's definitely something that Halo hasn't seen before. Um, the first thing is you're obviously going to be able to play uh, more than one character within co-op. And we haven't really seen anything like that since Halo 3. And even then, it was... Uh, Halo 3 co-op you would be playing the main player of the lobby would be playing Master Chief The second co-op player would be playing as the Arbiter and the following two remaining players would be playing as elites uh, Following these two guys around so it wasn't like all four players were Master Chief or anything like that. So Definitely something interesting and uh, this time around it seems like the characters are a lot more uh, I guess they have a, a little bit more face and story towards them so you're a little bit more compelled to be these characters within the game so it seems kind of cool it seems really interesting and I'm definitely uh, want to see them pull this off correctly I mean having four characters uh, playable and then having e uh, a completely different team of four players uh, which is you know Master Chief's Spartan team versus Locke's Spartan team is going to be pretty interesting you can have a lot of character um, dynamics and diversity so we'll definitely see where this goes uh, uh, but the next biggest thing about the Halo 5 Guardians campaign was the uh, application of being able to command your Spartans around you uh, even when you're playing alone you still have those Spartans surrounding you within the missions um, so even if you are not playing with the buddy and there's still some uh, cooperative AI following you around you can tell them to pretty much uh, com you can command them to get into position, you can command them to shoot a, different, a certain target, you can command them to pick your guys up, and that's one of the next big things as well is it has this sort of a Star Wars Republic commando feel to it where you have a squad of teammates uh, that are AI based around you and you can order them to do different things and of course once uh, one character goes down um, he pretty much has to get picked up by somebody else so we'll buy, by holding a button and that is one thing that you can command your AI to do so this is something that's definitely interesting and awesome to see I mean everybody or at least a lot of people who played Star Wars Republic Commando have been wanting a sequel and I feel like Halo 5 Guardians will be a, a somewhat spiritual successor to this game especially because uh, the developer or I believe it's the creative director um, Tim Longo if I'm not mistaken uh, I definitely correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, he is pretty much working on the game and he's the person who was on the Republic Commando dev team and he was doing all that sort of stuff and he was working on a Republic Commando sequel until it got scrapped uh, last minute I believe. Uh, but definitely something that was awesome to see. Uh, I just wish they could have revealed a little bit more, shown a little bit more gameplay and story but uh, uh, overall it was it was cool to see. Um, and this next big thing, and this is probably their biggest reveal and the biggest thing to really be talked about, uh, both positively and a little bit negatively here and there. Uh, not really neg negatively, but more concerns about the game and how it'll play out. Uh, but it is the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer mode Warzone. 
And Warzone is definitely one of those games that people have been wanting for quite a while, especially people who play Big Team Battle. Those fans who have been playing, you know, 12 versus 12, 6 versus 6, or excuse me, 6 versus 6 teams, uh, it was pretty interesting, and now they're bo boosting it up, bumping it up to a 12 versus 12. But this is definitely something that is a little bit different. Um, so essentially, it's a player versus player, but it is also introducing player versus environment mechanics. So it's kind of like uh, if you have ever played, ev excuse me, if you have ever played Titanfall, you'll notice there are AI controlled enemies that you can shoot and they award points. That's kind of the same point that Warzone will have, but with random spawning AI bosses coming into the mix, which means that small AI enemies will give you points obviously killing players will give you more points and when these bosses spawn around the map you can go towards them and the last person to get the kill on that uh, enemy opponent will pretty much award you an insane amount of points so the whole objective for this game type is to uh, I believe it's to score the most points uh, with the point total being I think it's like 1500 or something like that 15,000 I'm really not sure but I also know that they're tweaking the amount of points uh, that each kill is earned depending on just the uh, player versus player kill, player versus uh, AI kill, stuff like that. Uh, but it's definitely something that was interesting. And another way I think you can win is by destroying your enemy team's base, uh, which I believe you have to capture some bases around the map, uh, which will essentially open up the enemy team's core, which you have to then destroy, and the person who destroys their enemy team's core instantly wins regardless of points. And definitely something that's awesome. I mean, 12 versus 12 on dedicated servers will be nothing but fun. And I hope that the, a lot of stuff comes out um, from this game mode because it looks really fun. And I also know that uh, they had a playable there. They had one map there that was pretty interesting. But at the same time, um, they also announced that, uh, and I believe this was with the Game Informer issue um, the before E3 even came out, that they are going to be releasing DLC maps but they are all going to be free and they're going to be included uh, pretty much to every single player as they come out because they didn't want to split their community because people didn't want to buy uh, the map pack and stuff like that and, which is pretty awesome to see and uh, one of the cool things that I uh, I actually really like is that these maps are going to be war zone maps not just arena maps but war zone so uh, the one map that you uh, people played at E3 is not going to be the only thing that you play in this game mode so there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff hopefully these maps have uh, some dynamic and awesome mechanics to them I mean, we've already seen some uh, environmental changes with Halo 2 Anniversary, so hopefully they have a little bit more of that stuff. Um, but the next big thing about Warzone specifically is the rec system, also called the requisition system. But that's definitely something that uh, I will have to talk about in its own video, and hopefully I can do that sometime soon. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching and your continued patience, and I hope that I will see you guys next time. Peace.